We've talked before about how the Koreas can find common ground when it comes to Japan. Both South and North still feel the pain of past suffering under Tokyo's 1910-45 colonial rule. Indeed, Korea only split after Japan's rule ended at the close of World War II. So now, amid a renewed cooperative mood between the Koreas, a pro-unification South Korean civic group hopes to work with the North to jointly excavate the remains of Korean people coerced into labor by Imperial Japan. Historians say millions of Koreans were forced to do so. Currently, the remains of about 2,200 victims have been located around Japanese temples. The Korean Council for Reconciliation and Cooperation, led by the youngest son of late former South Korean President Kim Dae-jung, plans to send a delegation to North Korea next month to finalize the plan. With strict inter-Korean travel restrictions still in place, apparently the North has tentatively agreed to the joint project and is expected to issue an official invitation next week. The ultimate goal is to return the remains to their relatives. Those unidentified are to be buried together in a symbolic area, such as the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas, which is hoped one day to become a symbol of peace rather than division. <laughs>